From Marvel Comics ripping off One Punch Man to a surprise hidden in the anime's intro, here are 22 secrets you didn't know about One Punch Man, starting with the fact that you can visibly see Saitama lose his hair after he starts training. As Saitama is completing his training regiment in Episode 3, you can see parts of his hair falling out. But Saitama's hair isn't the only thing that changed, because his cape got a major upgrade that nobody noticed. See, back when the manga began, Saitama's cape was actually red, but this caused a huge problem because he looked like a walking McDonald's billboard. So the author changed his cape from red to white. And since it happened only a few chapters in, most people never realized. Listen, most people know that the creator of One Punch Man also created Mob Psycho. Just look at their main characters. But did you know the creator secretly hid Easter eggs from Mob Psycho in One Punch Man? Like, take a look at this scene of Saitama wearing a Mob Psycho shirt. Or this manga panel where a random dude has a shirt with Mob written all over it. But I think the creator decided all these little details weren't good enough because he snuck Mob Psycho's main character into One Punch's manga. But that doesn't mean One Punch didn't return the favor, because if you check out this scene in Mob Psycho's second season, Saitama and Genos are just chilling as background characters. And if you slow down the Mob Psycho opening to 25%, you can see that Reagan has the famous Cape Baldy as his phone wallpaper. <sighs> I wonder if the creator can sue himself for plagiarism. Well, at number 18, he can definitely sue Marvel because they completely ripped his character off. You see, when Marvel released a comic book in 2016, they had no idea that in just a few short hours, they'd be getting roasted on social media. Instagram posts, tweets, even articles were popping up flaming Marvel. And looking into that comic book, it was easy to see why. It turns out that Marvel made a Saitama-themed superhero, but with way lamer powers. The ripoff controls animals, which is a really dumb power, but not nearly as dumb as Saitama's original design. Cause I bet you didn't know that the creator of One Punch Man designed him now is the time to get expression, and his outfit is a copy of a children's superhero. But the creator made him this way for a reason. He looked around at every other anime and realized they all had one thing in common, a cool looking protagonist. So for One Punch Man, the creator decided to flip the script and make the dumbest looking main character. Now Saitama may look stupid, but he's also stupid strong. He says the secret behind his strength is his daily training, but it's a little more complicated than that. See, his strength actually comes from his will. Because of his unstoppable spirit, he's able to continuously push past his limits, which means that even though he's been working out all his muscles, they're still not as strong as his big brain. And Saitama's strength might be crazy, but Genos' body is way more interesting. Cause this dude Genos has mods. See, when he's not shooting lasers, he has a different set of arms for housekeeping tasks. And these have things like dish dryers and potato peelers built into his hand. But there's more to Genos. Apparently he has a built-in sleep mode. When he's tired, he just presses the button. And even weirder, if he were to cry, he would cry tears of oil. The dude's a freak. But if we're talking freaky, we gotta go back to the manga's rough draft. Cause at number 14, I bet you didn't know that One Punch Man's original artwork was so bad, they had to hire an artist to fix it up. You see, the creator of One Punch Man never thought his webcomic was going anywhere. So his drawings were less than perfect. But after posting online for two years, he was approached by a talented manga artist named Murata who proposed a deal. What if you and I team up to turn your story into a manga? The creator agreed and together they reached out to a publishing company. But the company didn't think the idea had any merit, so they flat out said no. And that's when the duo came up with a big brain play. What if the company released one chapter of One Punch and one chapter from another story and whichever did better would be published as an official manga? The publishing company agreed and when they released the two different chapters, One Punch Man went viral. Dang, they must have been shocked. But Saitama, on the other hand, is never surprised. And there's no way you knew that when he's not in a super suit, he's always wearing flip-flops. Most people think this is just a funny detail, but there's a big secret behind Saitama's choice in shoes. He wears flip-flops because they're easy to take off if a fight breaks out. That's a true hero right there. Always ready for battle. But Saitama in sandals definitely isn't as iconic as Saitama in his super suit. Cause even though his super suit looks super stupid, did you know that Saitama actually has a love-hate relationship with it? See, this tailor made the suit by hand and gave it to Saitama as a gift. And at first, Saitama found it embarrassing and wore it under his tracksuit. But over time, he came to love it and began wearing it proudly. Now a secret I bet One Punch Man probably isn't too proud of is Earth's weird design. Cause in the show, there's no way you knew that it's nothing like our Earth. You see, instead of having seven continents like us, 
The show's